Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. We need to one-up the um, ultimate finish that we did a couple oh, years ago. It was right. a Picatinny rail-mounted, uh, um, what is it, pocket pussy that it jacked you a, off as yeah. you shot. So it's like it's one of my favorite. It was a concepts. flesh. It was a flashlight. It's yeah. a flashlight. And the schematic, like the artwork behind the schematic, was just so good. Great. Like on a blueprint and everything. Really. They good. need a shop back attachment for like, I the pocket. I asked movie. that last time Crispy was at headquarters. I said, "Why don't you have a vacuum attachment?" We need to get that guy on the podcast too. Oh, you're right. We mm. could. Get he's him in there. Texas, I think. I think he's, he's in Austin. In Austin. 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 Yeah. Again. Yeah, yeah. You guys are talking about artificial AI earlier, and 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 or, we were. I, we were again really want the sex robot like if they're gonna Dude, kill us awesome but seriously like uh what is the what is the hbo show it, westworld westworld westworld's oh fantastic yes <laughs> i've never yeah. i've never even seen it I have you no haven't seen it no. westworld is great but don't you want that would westworld you, would you go yeah i mean i've thought about that like so many times where that would be so incredibly amazing. Would you want it Western though, or would no, you want it any no, different time no. period? Would uh, you want? Yeah, like Evan, are you caught up on season two? Uh, probably, kind of. Did you get? I, to I the, watch things in the background. Like the of Japanese sleep. portion of it, like it's not. Oh, it expands yeah, yeah. outside of just mm-hmm. having a Western type mm-hmm. atmosphere. Like they go to Fugal Japan. Yeah, uh, yeah. Back in the day, and they have and a like, fake Mount Fuji. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 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 I think that. That would be a great time. It really would. You could insert yourself into any environment, any era, do whatever you want. It's fucking incredible. Yeah. You know, I, w- I went to a World War, or no, it was, it was a whole museum in uh, Indiana, and they were showing back in like, you know, World War II where we had the plastic tanks um, or the inflatable we're ones. Up, we were setting yeah, them up f- in Africa, y- North Africa. Yeah, to fake the invasion. We it's in, fucking yeah. awesome. And then I started thinking, why don't we do cool shit like that anymore? Dude. Like, why aren't we setting up burning Humvees in, like, ISIS-controlled territory with American flags on there? Like, oh, these homeboys got IED'd. Then we set up a couple sniper teams, and we just start whack a mole these motherfuckers. Because I know they've done that before, but that's, like, cool warfare to me. We have stopped doing cool shit. And I was talking to uh, the doctor that was on that, that show, uh, Janelle, about, like... The military in general, if you think about like the th- the the 40s and 50s, like Chuck Yeager, they just gave airplanes and said, fucking break them and do whatever you can do. And we moved forward, you know, decades because the test pilots were allowed to go and actually test the airplanes. And there was nobody going like, hey, you know, you just threw that thing into the ground and ejected like, don't do that anymore. <laughs> like. <laughs> Maybe the costs are a little more now, you know. I mean, yeah, the costs are high, I, but I still, still, I still think that they need to create like the the drunk veteran brigade where you can just join the ex. You sign like this fucking nine hundred page document that says you get no air support, dude. Here are your guns. Just go have fun, but you know, willing that you are probably going to die or not, and it's up to you guys to develop your own leadership, your own squads, your own fucking platoons, and then you just go fucking. Fuck shit up. You're like, this is my fucking cordon off era. This is my battlefield space. Don't fuck with me. We're just going to murk fools. I think that's a mercenary force that you're referring to. And Definitely not. Are you even listening to the story <laughs> I'm telling you? <laughs> and that's, I mean, I think that that's, that's something that people have to really, I, and the, the administration's actually brought that back where they're like, hey, why don't we just pay contractors to do a bunch of this stuff? But it makes it's sense. Effective. <laughs> yeah, it's really effective. They want to be there. They do. They want to be there. Sure, you, you pay, pay them more, a little but, bit more, but, but not you, in the long run. Not in the long run. <clears throat> but yeah, not in the long it's run. It's also like, results driven. Yeah. It's not like. Imagine if there was I bonuses, like where like, you could bring back like fucking 20 ISIS heads and then you get a fucking yeah. payout. I mean, ah. when I think about like when I really think about my, my 2007 trip, like what did we accomplish in the, you know, 10 months that I was there? Not much. Like. I think the biggest goal was to get the 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 uh, this guy named Major Awad that was in charge of the Iraqi police like on our side, and then he ended up turning on us anyway, and we had to fight him. So it was like weird. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. That's never happened yeah. in American military history where we chain trained an indigenous <laughs> force and they've switched on us. Never. Yeah. So weird. Vice News did a piece on the area that I was in. Uh, like a year after we had left and the <clears throat> the Afghani police chief uh had just started um 
a stable of little boys that were his sex toys. And they, these were our allies. And this is why yeah. I don't I don't yeah. agree with like general order number one because they feed us this bullshit that we're supposed to like what is general adapt, order number one? Is that... adapt no drinking no no, drinking. no pornography oh Things i was like, thinking they... i will guard everything within the limits of my post and quit my post only when properly relieved <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. i don't know why i remember that ranger that's, geo or... that's no, not ranger that's, shit that's, that's, that's army like, shit yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like that. it's like it's like infantry no but the reasoning yeah. they do they're you're going into a country that we just invaded and then they're going to tell us you can't have pornography because it's against their beliefs. Like, That's what I'm saying beliefs. by the force I want to create. You get all the porno. You get you can you can almost be functionally drunk. Like you can't be over point two, but point come one, on. point one you two, can be, yeah, point you one can two, be functionally. Yo, bro, how much I'm kicking, better. Dudes would fight. Oh, I wouldn't up. give a fuck. Yeah. I don't give a fuck when I'm sober. And if you put a little bit of liquor in me, I'm like, let me. I want to. I've been trying to catch the bullets. That's that's how that's how the wars used to be fought. Yeah, no, you absolutely. Call, the Vikings would get half half lubed up Fuck before they yeah. hit the beach and they'd be like let's do this let's make go. warfare just, great again dude i want to see what happens how you fight on a belly full of wine you know yeah. oh mead no. a belly yeah. full of mead the thing full of sugar i'm full of honey i'm full of fucking honey and <laughs> fermented fucking honey. Your, your peak you're gonna hit it real quick and then that just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, would you make a good viking evan me? I mean a sword like, i don't think i think after like three people like you're gassed I, no, like, no, but bullshit. I I'm not. I'm not saying I would no. be a good Viking whatsoever. I don't think I probably would be. I think there's none of us actually that would be great Vikings. I'm Scandinavian. Those dudes are like fucked. They slept on the like the wood floors of their boats. <laughs> got fucking drunk all the time. Were at sea all the time. They were just like beyond hard. I, I don't know if there's a dude on the planet that could be like that fucking tough again. Well, but you have to look at it in the context, at least in the warfare side. Like, Evan's not wielding the giant fucking sword, man. He's got a little mace. You got to, maybe I have the bigger one, and I'm lopping fools, and, and then he's, he's got, got the a, little axe, and he just, he's hatchet quick man. Guy. He's a quick guy. You fucking hatchet man. Right Evan hatchet man. Like, right in the thighs? Oh, yeah. He's, he's taking them right in the thighs. Yeah. Yeah. Hitting yeah. them in their fucking, That's super their funny. ankles, and they're behind <laughs> their knees, dropping fools, and then I'll just come up and just. You guys are fighting as a duo. I want, like, a fucking mace, though. But all. Like all those old, I want the mace with the spikes. That's my sidearm. How tiring this is, though. Like three people, I I say, Jared, we work out, so it's not terrible for us. You think you're going to be able to hack through three people and not be tired? I think wars were at that point, especially when they were in direct engagement. How long could you really completely throw down? Like this is like full on. I guarantee wearing armor. I guarantee after about ten minutes, you just it's locked for a year. Oh no, it's looking like <laughs> fucking Alistair Overeem in round five of a championship fight. The dude just like, <sighs> yeah. I always see those 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 just movies fucking. with all this sword play, and yeah. it's like, yeah. and they're like a half hour into this, no. and they're ding, like throwing ding, these ding. giant swords yeah. around, yeah. like they're just like, <laughs> yeah, like tossing people, and you're like, this is so fucking fictional. Well, it's fun. I mean, I'm sure they're tougher than us, but if you ever hit two swords together, like full force, oh my god, your hands are like yeah. fucking numb and shaky just- and... Think how miserable this type of warfare is, though. Again, oh, it's terrible. you've been walking for a month. Terrible. You're wearing but, the same outfit. But that's my point. Sleep, nutrition, like all those things are just out the, door. Out the fucking window. Yeah. They're already exhausted before they hit the battle. You're malnourished. You're wearing a ton of weight, and then you're going into direct combat, like hand-to-hand combat with heavy fucking items. This couldn't have lasted a long time. <laughs> no, That's why I'm like, love to see it. I would have like, been like, kill I'm this? investing in a ton of fucking archers. Those <laughs> yeah. dudes are like, <laughs> trebuchets and archers. That's when it sucks. When I, I have to have the heavy bow or some shit. That's how I get in the archery team because I don't want to be up front. That's fucking. I. But also, there's no way that you you full killed someone like off the no. bat. You had to like slash them, oh, no. and they're like, oh my Dude. fucking arm. People and you just, just leave them parts. And, and then you come yeah, back yeah. and then the cleanup the B team comes in and just stabs everybody in the heart there's no way that you go full, full kill no you can't way. go no, full kill no not at all no too taxing no. on the body no. too, way, way too, too taxing, taxing. Yeah. yeah but it also too like I'm just like I'm imagining like 
just the walk there, you're like chafed and just miserable. Jared is more concerned <laughs> about the walk. <laughs> is, is about I'm serious. Like, like you're wearing the same thing for fucking a month. You're chafed. There's you're no just... Blink 182. I'm getting it sounds re- horrible. I'm getting really riled up about this because imagine when you're on what do they call it? So you have the trebuchets, yeah, and you put the like burning fucking like rock oil stuff, yeah. rocks, and yeah. you want imagine the dude that's like little left, little left, one mil. And you just fucking hit six dudes and roll them up, and they're like, ah! oh my dude, god! Dude, I'd be high fiving in the back, take another shot of wine, like let's load these back fools up, yeah. motherfucker! Yeah, dude. There's no threat; nothing's that, gonna happen to you. Just like load it up again. That's where like <laughs> conquering <laughs> nations and then putting a, putting your cannon fodder ahead, putting all the just the meat grinder ahead of everybody else, and everybody else is like archers and trebuchet, like they're they're and it definitely if you're worth a shit, you're on a horse. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. if you're if you're on a horse, dude, your odds go up. Well, you need to expel if you're like, this is dude. fucked. I'm out, bro. Dude, yeah. I could just ride this horse away from here and go okay, like, so, bang some so, bang some so, chips you, in another so, village. Can, can you imagine the general in the beginning is like given all the grunts that are going out for the hand to hand knife combat? It's like, you are the tip of the spear. You are the reason we win wars. The yeah. second they launch out, he's like, those motherfuckers are <laughs> fucked. You guys are just not meat. have given those guys <laughs> horses. <laughs> That's a bad you, idea. You know, like there has to be, you know, the guys in the rear ranks when they finally got through into into the whole thing and they're just tired. There had to have been times where two dudes get to each other like you said and they're kind of just like fuck it like can <laughs> they just it. turn around and walk away <laughs> or like or like you find your other sandbagger on the other end you're like hey bro yeah, hey, hey bro right. dude, let's just pretend dude, yeah, you know, no, no, like, no, no. That's, no, no. <laughs> you, you're on the flank and you're just like yeah yeah like Hey, look at us fighting back this way. Dude. We're kind of mosey off behind a knoll. We're like, fighting hey, so dude, hard. For these you rich white get out of royals. <laughs> yeah. Let's just, oh, man. Dude. Why are we here again? Let's just hit the wood line and watch this. Because some short French motherfucker wants more land? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, there had to be some clarity at Wait. some point. Because that happened in some of the world wars where people were like, why... Wait, why, why are we doing are we this? Doing this? Like, yeah. you're pretty cool, Vol- Volnarf and fucking Bob over here is pretty cool. Like, why don't we just not yeah, fucking this, stab each other and shoot each well, other? Well, especially like the crew at Crusades, it's like you yeah. can only hear God wills it so many times before you're like, wait, what? Wait, who is this yeah, God but, and why is he willing this? Because yeah. like, but Steve fuck. took an arrow in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> God, wills like it? God, God wills wanted? it. <laughs> like, God wills it. And he's it. still like, alive. Yeah, like it's Man. super fucked up. Like he can't really talk. <laughs> He's like, just kind of like dragging his leg around. I, I find this hard to believe this is God's will. <laughs> come on, guys. Can, oh my can, God. We, can we sit around the fire and maybe talk this through? Yeah. Maybe. <sighs> hey, I got an idea. Well, Why I mean, don't we just force the kings to fight? Yeah. And then yeah. if they and if they just lose, then we kill them. But How about that? That was all That's like Troy. Like it was all fought over some asshole prince. Yeah. 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 Like it was all like. Yep. All these people are dying. Why? Because you're mad? Dude, <laughs> Wait, Helen, I gotta die Helen because Troy you're was, mad? Was, must have been fucking hot as fuck. Well, you no, know, think about the corruption of government in 2018. And Rewind that bitch about 2,000 years, dude. Oh, it's yeah. so much worse. Can you, can you imagine? It's like, oh, he fucked my girl that I wanted to fuck, that I just have a... Cro- War! War! <laughs> just like, what the fuck, Imagine dude. if Trump was like, I get your wife the first night of your wedding. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> oh, what? Dude, what? That would be super cool if we had modern day like crusade shit where if if like Putin was like, I'm going to fuck your wife, Donald Trump, and he's like, not today. And they just had like sword and archery fights. You keep it sub 200 people. Maybe we do like felons and we right. give them old school weapons. I don't know if you if you looked for volunteers that would want to fight oh. Russians with fucking swords. Oh, they'll, there's crazy fuckers yeah. out there. Yeah. People would be like, I'm in. They have like 10 on 10 MMA matches now. It's fucking brutal oh, all at God. once. Team MMA. Oh, oh, no way. <laughs> Can you imagine Good. the like the dude that is that is like been armchair quarterbacking and like sitting on the sideline, plays, you know, plays a little paintball here and there, like, but he's like a super nerd and he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going for it. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to go fight Russians with a sword. And he shows up and he's like, this was a super bad idea. I immediately regret I this decision. I immediately ah, should go yeah. back home to my parents' you basement. You take a broadsword to the knee and then you really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Like a broadsword, it doesn't even slice you open really. It just shatters your oh fucking bone and then your fucking leg. This is, is what uh, scares me about that style of combat was just the 
the wounds that you would get that didn't kill you <laughs> right away. No, no, yeah. Like, and there's no modern medicine. They're like, your, oh, like, yeah. ribs opened up or some fucking weird Wait, shit going on. Throw some on. dirt in that, it. And then, like, you're on a one-on-one -on -one match, and then you just take a sword in the back from someplace else, and you even yeah. see you come like, oh. Well, yeah. uh, some dude doing just, really good. Yeah, it's like you. a street fight. When you're putting some good combos together on Homeboy, you're like, dude, I'm feeling pretty kapam. And you yeah, just get yeah. clobbered by his boy in the back. Oh, oh. but you no, know, even worse, a guy with a pike. Like, he doesn't even have a sword. <laughs> he just, yeah. He's just got that shitty spear that they gave all the guys he's 15 in front. feet away, and yeah. he's just stabbing he's, you in the kidney. Yeah, you're just God like, damn. no, no. <laughs> you I was, fuck. I was <laughs> fighting this <laughs> other trained knight. We were having a sword fight, and your poor bitch ass came over here with your shitty pike and shit. Shoved it into my ribs. I, <laughs> he I, stabs you and goes, and I wipe my shit on the tip. You're like, God damn it, I'm gonna die of infection in seven days. This what is real would be fun. super funny is is they they take like a, a, a football team, like a, a, a professional football team that's like using all these combat analogies where they're like, You guys are going to war. And then it's just a time travel event where they end up going back in time to like the Crusader era. And it's just a bunch of football players that are now donning like shields and swords. And they're like, but bro, my ACL is like super fucked up right now. Um, I didn't get an ice bath. I don't know. And it's just like, you're just eviscerated. It's like, dude. That's that guy was eviscerated. Again, doc, you know, bring the doc up. Dude, that's got to be the worst one. Just like a fucking long sword across the bottom gut and just all your intestines fall out. Because like it depends on the bleeding and where you got cut. But that's a solid couple hours of yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Oh, misery. No, see, yeah. Like you're passing out and then you're yeah. waking up in your own guts because yeah. your body's like, like, hey, oh. dude, try to try to live and get through this. Mm. And then ugh. I I keep envisioning, you know how every team has their like giant brute that's got the big yeah. hammer. Like I'm just running and I just take his swing of the hammer to the leg, like it just <laughs> and bends it backwards. And now, like Derek White as you, your leg goes that way. Now I'm no! like, now I'm just sitting there with a sword that I can't even hold up with one hand. Love like, you, Derek, by the way. And, and how many how many blue on blues were there during those? Oh like, yeah, massive. You go to swing back. Like, can you imagine? Like, well, you're there and I'm like you're my enemy, and I'm like, you must die in hell. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fucking Logan just got my sword through his fucking orbital <laughs> bone. I'm yeah. like, oh, uh, uh, Sir, Sir Logan uh, died gallantly in his fight against the oh, it's like, oh, I killed it's like Sir Persians. Logan. It's like every, Sir Logan. everybody's wondering, everybody's wondering, like, dude, Matt is like really celebrating Logan's death to the point of which it's a really bit, it's kind of weird. Like, Tonight we celebrate Sir Logan. <laughs> Sir Logan. He, he died a champion of champions. He fought so brave. He didn't even get to pull his sword out. Like he yeah. was about to. And, he just, <laughs> and he's just stuck in the eye like, hey, the, what about the other guy? No, 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 Sir Logan. Dude, Sir Logan, and we must Logan. build a shrine to Logan. <laughs> he's been talking about how much he was looking forward to this combat for the last mm. month. Like he can't wait to get his first kill. <laughs> 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 but also think about there's no video cameras imagine the murder you could get away with like oh let's just God. say like logan's fucking my chick and i find out about it. I'm like oh yes logan make sure you're next to me in the formation <laughs> there's no way he's not going to take a fucking sword through his liver and be like oh Bro, no like, uh, logan's uh, dead yeah but like it's a <laughs> lot more difficult to just be fucking your chick like logan lives like 40 goddamn acres away from you no, it's on like the battle <laughs> compound, like it's the training facility. Yeah, it's yeah. just like yeah, you, you own like a thousand acres in Wilkshire or something. Like, <laughs> how's Logan even get to your house to fuck your chick? Because, because my wife is like, I'm going to get vegetable. I'll be back in a horse's day, and she goes and sucks oh. Logan's dick. She, she's gonna I'll get see you in two minutes, my plan. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure you will. Bitch. Listen, if you've got a thousand acres, you got fucking bitches bringing you that's, vegetables. Like, ain't nobody going on a horse, dude. That's, to get vegetables. That's, that's so Logan, though. That is Logan. He's like, I shall travel across the two moons and find the wealth. And then he's just fucking plowing my wife in the fucking pasture. Oh. Damn God. it. So that's how wars are fought right there. That's right. You don't think you could smell it on her when she came back? I, I mean, again, there's no shit. It's not like she could shower at his place before she leaves. There's so, creeks. There's, there's a, still yeah, running jump water. In the river for sure. <laughs> there's a lot of smells back then. Yeah. Rub, yeah. Some, rub some flowers on her puss. Fresh. Oh right my up. god. <laughs> Why should puss smell like flowers? <laughs> yeah. Were you fucking Logan again? <laughs> fucking Logan god, were again. You fucking Logan again. Esmeralda. What's a? I don't even know what a woman's name back there would be like. That is Ariana. Marianne. Yeah. Marianne. Marianne. Aria. Elizabeth. Mary. Elizabeth. So, oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a woman's name. Well, technically. I, just, I thought we were just naming names from yeah. back then. Hey, Zeus. Peter. Paul. Peter, Brad. Jesus. Brad. 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 Dude, that would suck. Like. 
there's Brad, but they were like, Brad doesn't really sound too biblical. We're not going to write him into any of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. He did the coolest shit, too. Yeah, yeah Brad was, was the badass, like, but they're like, yeah. we will name Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Br- John. He's like, yo, what the fuck, man? Dude, Brad, I, was, you, I was here Brad, for your name Brad. really Fuck, sucks. I introduced all of you to Jesus. Jesus yeah. Christ. You're, Brad was Jesus' best friend. Yeah, yeah, he was the best friend. Like, He's the best friend. Actually got all the shit together. Yeah, like, he organizes Jesus' schedule. He's yeah. like, hey, man, really fucking preach this sermon. Like, yeah, yeah. This is you what I'm talking this. about. Here, I wrote this last night for yeah, you. I wrote this last night. Dude, Dude, do I, <laughs> poor Brad. I'm super worried about Mary, so I did. I got her a checkup. I got her the doctor. Like, This is a, this is a serious thing. You know, <laughs> it's like Brad just written out of everything because he's a is a douchebag name. Douche, yeah, <laughs> no offense to those guys that are named Brad. Other than like, we're using that name as an example. Other than the four dealership. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, from Brad. It's the same guy. It's the same guy yeah. reincarnated. He's no, he, I know. Wouldn't G- it be awesome if there's like a super mundane person that's just being reincarnated as like a car salesman for the rest of their life? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like they're fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, Again? it's 2018, and he's on his third his third oh, iteration fuck. of just being a car salesman. And it's like a it's like a B like a like a level B Chrysler dealer that's just shitty, just a shitty work environment. <laughs> what cubicle, if like, just yeah, like used? What if with technology we unlocked the ability to 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 see what your past reincarnations were and it was like ancestry.com you just pay oh, and they show you what you were in past lives. Well what would be great is if you could just jump into those past lives. Like if you were a pharaoh in Egypt back in the day it was like, "Oh, I'm just going to go I'm going to go do that one for a second. I think about Oh, it. are you coming going there and coming back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not? Come on. You don't want to fucking well, hang what out if, in Egypt now, as a pharaoh. What if you got reincarnated though, right? And you didn't have the ability to pick where what you're just on earth as another human but you cannot commit suicide during your reincarnation Ugh. so you you wake up and you're this person and you gotta live it can you like imagine waking up and fucking at, at the worst place on earth i don't know and you're Zaire. just you're just fucking stuck there no i would just probably try to be a drug lord everywhere i went just to yeah. really hammer that out i, I was to gonna say it. ferguson missouri actually I, <laughs> I, I used to think about that a lot where it was um, coming back as a beast of burden in Afghanistan, like a donkey. If you're really fucked up and it's like, yeah, well, how you're actually, the, you you really fucked up in this last this last life, uh, Gary V. You're coming back as a, <laughs> as a donkey. As a beast of burden. <laughs> That's when you're like chomping on some grass, drinking the cold water in the hills. You're like, dude, I got it. It's not that bad being this and donkey. Like and then fucking five goat Afghanis farmer. Five come up and Ooh. just start smashing you out. Digging that Front donkey back, ass out yeah, like then they, they fill it. you full of sand and, and just make you walk all over the place and now they attach you to their plow yeah. so they're plowing you and then you have you to plow, plow their, their fields that's <laughs> like the worst Double. of both worlds oh. and they never they never feed you they just whip the shit out of you and fuck you it's like the worst fucking like worst you're gonna whip me ever. at least fuck me they're while carving, you whip me yeah. carving handholds in your fucking back thighs <laughs> <laughs> oh, <gross. laughs> what you wouldn't do that <laughs> I can just see little hand grips in there. Yeah, just like little like stapling a fucking rope to you. Yeah. What's worse than that? Like the donkey, you're fucking bleeding out in the side of the creek. You're like, thank fuck, it's finally over, dude. Let's get to this next life. Like, there's got to be something worse than an Afghani donkey. Yeah. Mm. Well, mentally handicapped people in Afghanistan have it super rough too. So that is true. Super unfortunate. Like, it's a. Oof, they just that is, chain that is a brutal to, they just life. Chain them up. Do, do, yeah. do we all life. have those stories? I don't have one specifically, but I've heard multiple. Yeah. Dude, multiple I was ones. I was in Iraq and we were hitting this village and it was supposed to be like this stronghold of bad dudes. Ended up being a dry hole. But one of the rooms I'm coming in it was like the seventh one. I was fucking freezing my ass off. It's Thanksgiving Day actually. And I came in the fucking room and right as I'm meeting my light with my buddy, it's I literally from the bed steps up like a zombie and was like <gasps> and I was like, What the fuck? And realized it was chained. And my brain didn't process it that quick. I was like, What? the fuck is going on then i realized he was a mentally handicapped guy and they just chained him to a bed in an empty room and left him there and like looked like there had been food scraps and bread they just threw on the ground and i'm like fuck dude so we cut the guy loose and then all of the village people are fucking cussing us out because they're like you pieces of shit and we're like what the fuck, man? Yeah. You know, they just don't now understand. They're deal like, with him. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's fucking <laughs> shitty, dude. My buddy won a, uh, it, I think it was a bronze star with a V device. One earned, or it could have been even a silver star. I'm not sure, but they did a CTR on an ISIS, uh, 
uh, actually an Al Qaeda stronghold in Fallujah. And the way he did it was he looked he looked Iraqi. So he acted like he was mentally handicapped and he was like twitching and walking down the street, like going, you know, acting like that. Yeah. Right. But he did such a fucking detailed close reconnaissance because Iraqis would look instantly away. Like they don't want to have anything to do with it. It's a social stigma. They don't look at it. They don't want to see any of it. They just keep walking and they pretend that it doesn't exist. So he just like loitered out in front of this fucking place <laughs> for like a fucking half hour. <laughs> got like everything <laughs> on it. And, and everybody's like, like dude, sick and stun. that him. is awesome. Like that is so fucking awesome. Those are they made epic stories. We had a, we had a Syrian, uh, a guy from Syria that was a uh, tack P with me at Fort Bragg. And I, I had heard that there was an ODA that would have him just walk you know 400 meters behind them in man jams when they would when they would roll through the village and just tell them what what they did behind them after after oh that's just, actually brilliant he looked super super just like them so they were wow. like no no you're just gonna walk offset of us and then tell us what they're what they're doing once we pass which and so great, he would just picking up log, cell phones yeah, and calling phone, a grid like who okay was, who was calling building sevens yeah. an asshole <laughs> <laughs> but god he go said he was some faces. fucking terrified with man jams and an mp5 just rolling by yourself yeah. <laughs> you don't really get far with an mp5 no. yeah you but got, it's the only no. thing that you're gonna no. hide under no, there. no i'm tracking i'm just saying yeah. you ain't getting far like i i don't want to be in a gunfight with an mp5 really no well here no. in the civilian world of course that's easy but yeah that would be great. I'd, I'd yeah. I I hear it would be great. I yeah. wish Here we would great. like yeah. look into like the science of splicing animals together. Like, I think I think our oh. our our method of dealing with Afghanistan this is, would this be is human dog again. Isn't no, it? no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm talking about making like a wolverine the size of an elephant that has taste for human, packs like wolves and breeds like rabbits, <laughs> and then you release that's fifty a really good of idea. them. In yeah. Afghanistan, we build a really high fence, and we say these are your problem now. <laughs> I would, I would want a, That's not kang- a bad idea. <laughs> I would want a kangaroo lower half. I feel like. Oh, you yeah. want it standing on two legs like a fucking T Rex? No, I want kangaroo legs. Oh, you want? Can you imagine? Legs? Just leave my dick, but then my legs like they're. I could jump so high. I could be in the NBA, or I could trek across the Afghanistan desert. You could do whatever you wanted. Know. If you had, kangaroo- you have a little pouch in there. Fuck. Would you have that tail? Huh? Would you have yeah, the tail too? Because it gives you good balance. It's a good balance. Dude, yeah. I bet, I bet a, a girl touching your tail is like a is a good addition during sex. Maybe like a stroke that both yeah, tails. She's like just grabbing, grabbing, I would she's like bring it up over the shoulder, like yeah. the titties, Dude, you'd have to fucking chick with tail. your tail though. She's <laughs> the tail. Like, your dick's too small, so you fuck her with your tail. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it gets bigger, so she can have as much as she wants. What are little pouches here? Like, uh, you know, it would be so convenient on the. Well, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a hip sack. Yeah. yeah. No, it would yeah, get could, sweaty, dude. It's it your concealed get, carry, bro. Like, what do you care? Bunch of weird shit in there. It would smell horrible. That's because you're disgusting a little bit. Yeah, you'd put like sandwiches in there and stuff. <laughs> God, can you imagine what a hooker kangaroo pouch would be like? Oh, oh. those dollar bills in there. Mm. I'm just going to pull out some God. dollar bills for my milk. Kangaroo humans? Oh, oh this is great. God, I, I, would, I would love to have a fucking pet kangaroo. Wouldn't that be badass? Dude. That's my kangaroo Mike just sitting over there. It's my kangaroo. Yeah, and he's really Ma- chill, Moik. too. Yeah, he's like, like, it's, it's not Mike. super chill. Moik. He literally like, just follows you around and then just sits on his hind legs. He's smoking yeah. dope all day on the couch. <laughs> yeah. It's my kangaroo. He just does bar. He knows how to vape. Bicep curls yeah. all day. In the he corner. knows. He's just like, he I knows would be fucking vape. shooting yeah. him up with some fucking trend. Just. Do you imagine? Yeah. He'd be like my fucking kangaroo. Like when you show up to my house. Yeah. I don't even know how fucking kangaroos sound. Yeah, how do kangaroos say? sound? I don't know. They're they, fucking jack though. Like <laughs> pictures of them, they look like they're all right yeah. out. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I've heard they're really good, actually. I've heard people uh, meat. their meat is really good. I bet you uh, can yeah. teach them to smoke. Uh, yeah, there's, there's I don't think be. they have the ability to, to hold things. Yeah, they, don't they, have, they, they don't have thumbs, do they? What do their hands look like, Dave? We're gonna do some deep diving up in the kangaroo worlds. Look how fucking cool that thing is. See, like how would you not want those legs, bro? Yeah. That tail's tail. nasty too. You could whip motherfuckers with that. Their hands, though, they do have real hands. You have five points Such of contact. A strange animal. Look at that thing. That is a very strange. Wow. See. Oh. Wow. That's not what I expected them to sound like. No. That's not what. That's not what. That's not what your kangaroo would. Because they can go like yours, yours, would, yours would be able to they? talk. How fast yeah. are kangaroos? Like, but yeah. like, like, like a, a vocabulary of like a three. Sixty miles an hour. No. No. It's it's. 30. It's like 20 or 30. 30. 
come on. How fast is a kangaroo? Ooh, 21 to Oh, 16 miles an hour? Oh, no. Fucking lame. I can run fast. I don't want kangaroo garbage. legs anymore. It, it says speeds 44. up to 44. Yeah. Oh, it speeds up to 44. Oh, up oh, to 44. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's legit. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, no, yeah. you kill him, kill him at 25 miles per hour. Do you, have you ever you ever gone down the YouTube rabbit hole of animals eating other animals? No. Well, that's a good one. I have. I just like the Nature's Metal Instagram. Like, yes. Whenever, that's what so gets good. me on that. Yeah. Whenever two species you, you wouldn't think eat the other is awesome. Because it's like a lion eating a fucking zebra. You're like, I've seen it a million times. Right. But when like an alligator is eating like a deer, yes. you're like, oh, oh no, it's, God, it's, it's cool. Hilarious. Alligators eating other alligators. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, um, I sent you that one, Matt, the the praying mantis uh, eating that worm. I like the little, like yeah. the little violence. This, like um, this praying mantis is just splitting this worm open and devouring its innards. Oh it's man. Fucking gross and awesome. Did you yeah. see the nature's metal today where the killer whale like puts the little fish for the bird? The bird comes down to get it, and the killer whale just takes the bird. Uh-uh. Dude, <laughs> killer whales are awesome. I'm not going to lie. When I, when I was getting tattooed by Will, shout out to Will from Black Salt, I thought about getting an orc whale tattoo because I, I fucking love them. I feel them. like that's your spirit How, animal. It's my, they're, they're fucking hyper intelligent, and they're, they just want to kill. They're scary, and then, dude. And then when they capture the seals, and they're just flipping them around and playing with them, he's like, just so you know, I could have killed you. And then they put it back on the beach like, see you in a day, bitch. You're going to fucking die. Love it. Have you ever seen the seal? On top of the iceberg, yeah. and the pod comes it, up and slaps their tail, flushes them off. No, boom! That dead thing bitch. was a giant. That was like a walrus they went after, dude. And like, th- I could go on days for killer whales. And they whales, teamed bro. up, man. There was what yeah. three of them? Yeah, they, they hunted came in pods. They and hunt they, together. They kicked the water over. Watch and this spilled one. Them out. Baby blue whale gets eaten by orc whales. So it swims on top of the blue whale, the giant whale, yeah. and mama's trying to protect Dave, it. Pull the, it up. The orcas are swimming up and slapping the baby off the top to try to get away for its mother, and they finally get it off and fucking devour this blue whale. Oh, do you get to see him eating it? Yeah. God, I love this. Super. It oh. soup's good. Uh, I get way yeah. too excited about this stuff. This is when you're in Los Angeles and you smoke a fat joint and watch Planet Earth. Uh, is this it? Um, maybe. No. Oh, they're charging it. Who knows? They don't eat the big ones. They're too big, but they kill the babies. Oh, oh yeah. then it flips. Well, they're seat. probably better. Yeah, it's like venison. Yeah, Tasty little. Better. Oh, mm. Yeah. Man, I really want to see these things eat this. That's why I've never got the uh, enamorment with, with great white sharks. Like, orcas are orcas so are much way more better. fierce and better. Well, well sharks, are, sharks are a fish. Like that's that's the thing that's they're really dumb, fish. and they're not even agile. They just go straight up, and sure they yeah. got an epic power, but they're like a heavyweight. One, they're one pump, and they're done. Yeah, orcas but they're don't also have dumb, an alpha though. hunter, do they? Uh, What's that? They don't have an alpha predator, do they? What orcas? Yeah, no, no one fucks. Nothing fucks yeah. with I don't, orcas. I don't, I don't, I'm I don't sure a baby one could get eaten by some shit. Yeah, but, but I don't think nothing comes after orcas. Yeah. No, look at the top of the food chain. What's up, maybe. orca? I wonder how orca tastes. Uh, I just uh, well then have you seen the video illegal. of when they were fucking with the Sea World instructors like yeah they can be mean like, yeah they're moody yeah well I mean if you're if you're like taken out of the wild and then put into a giant tank where a bunch of people are riding you I would be a little bit moody too I'd be like dude I, I yeah. had the like, the whole fucking ocean I could bang what I want your I fins could fucking I want. slanted over from yeah. atrophy yeah, yeah you but know? It, uh, on that Come video on. like they the the whale didn't just like kill the instructor like it tortured yeah. Did it end up it, killing it, him they though? Would, they would, he yeah. would pull him down. He'd pull him and down, let him throw go. him up, and he'd think he was alive, yeah, was and like, then pull him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Blackfin, right? That was yep. the name of the yep. documentary. Yeah. What do they do to the orca? Um, I'm not. I think they ended up. Sea World is getting rid of the orcas. Actually, they, they let it go. No. I oh, I, I was, I was like, that's dope. Go. But that's like, what if we fucking kill the orca? Like, dude, what? Yeah, that's, that's like putting your hand in an alligator's mouth and like, we gotta kill the alligator because it ate the human arm. Like, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah. Why? Why were you putting your arm in there anyway, dude? That that's the real question. Alligator fails are great too. Yeah. Oh, watching alligators yes. eat shit like that. I see yeah. how creepy like it was. Those people at Disney World that lost their kid, like it's fast. Like, they lost a kid. And, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They were on the beach. They right? were yeah. hanging out on the beach. Yeah. Gator just fucking snatched it up. Well, if you ever yeah. see them attack humans too, they'll hit the leg and then they oh. immediately spin and it's just like goodbye fucking little. Oh, mm. it's nasty. Oh, that's he just awesome. died of natural causes. He oh, ki- wow. he killed three people. Wow. Yeah, that's legit. Tillicum. Like like Tillicum. in his lifespan or like at once? In his lifespan. Oh, yeah. Like, so they, they just let people yeah. go back in there after yeah, the first it, one? Yeah. Seems legit. 
Just get back in there, John. <laughs> hey, John, you're on uh, Tilikum today. Looks like, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, <laughs> Russ, Russ isn't with us anymore, but John, you know, we've got we've got some good hopes for you there, buddy. John, we bumped you up by 50 cents an hour. You're going in a Tilikum next uh, <laughs> a, next tilicum. rotation. Jesus, he lived for 36 years. <laughs> My ninja. Yeah, you got to know. It's probably like the 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 Stanford biologist named Becky. That's like I can totally tame Tilikum. Like <laughs> oh, I can speak Here to the go. fucking whale. Yeah. See, look. And it's sitting there like, oh, I'm just gonna befriend you. Of course, and you've got you, bitch. F- to get yeah. Becky into a wetsuit. It takes a shoehorn, <laughs> <laughs> a giant shoehorn. Yeah, that's that you have to put butter on. Becky, do some <laughs> fasting. Becky, it's disgusting. You are bulging out <laughs> of your zipper. Yeah. Becky, you look like a whopper getting into a fucking orca whale. Yeah. You should probably lean out. Look like some chicken breast because I they don't a like that. Marine biologist, <laughs> I cannot eat fish. Yeah. <laughs> it looks, it looks like. You're filling up a water balloon, just like <laughs> Becky getting into her wetsuit. It's just, fucking disgusting. Just, you can see parts of Becky through the zipper, <laughs> uh, <laughs> where the fat is protruding yeah, through the zipper through. holes. Yeah, God, oh, Becky. <laughs> the fupa is on point. It's mm. like descending fucking eight inches off. She's her. got a, a what? A, what? What's the back? What's the back one? What's that one called? The uh, you got the fupa and the the back. Love Buffa, handles, bucka or some shit. I don't. Know, I've never heard the back one. Yeah, it's the back one where you have so much fat, you've actually got the back belly going on. Oh, wow. what's that? Yeah, wow. Dave, what's that? What's the back uh, belly? I want to know. Oh, the back. No. <laughs> <laughs> opposite? opposite of fupa. <laughs> a mupa. 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 Yeah, there we a go. Uh, we're back. The next step up a after massive, a fupa, massive. Up, oh, that's upper a public that's a oh no, a larger. A mupa one. is a step up from a fupa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when it really goes. I do want to thank everybody that sent me the world's most disgusting urban dictionaries to my Instagram. Oh God, I, I was it. getting those for days. Were you? Like, hey, I heard that one's kind of gross, but check out this one. I'm like, oh. Yeah, uh, and then I would just send back a therapy link, and I like I'll pay for your surfer session, guys. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, Urban Dictionary. There's, there was like the co- when that first thing started, like when people like it was like what, like 2008 or seven when everybody started like. That's really when the internet like yeah, it refined like, itself, oh, man, it figured like, itself out. The Dirty Sanchez. It was funny, but like now they're they're just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like, that's that's no like one the whole, has done this that's ever. Like the, that's like the whole pornography escalation. It's like yeah. nobody's gonna watch missionary porn anymore. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, nobody. Well, I can't well, even uh, make that joke. You know, sure, yeah. shit, I know. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Logan, would you want to know the greatest for anything on the internet anymore? <laughs> luxury oh, item. What about that you? You'll ever own. <laughs> What's that? Is one of these things these steelies <laughs> that hooks to a, a metal ball, and then I put one of the receivers in the shower. Oh, you really? masturbate in the shower? What? I, I was talking about for taking calls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, technically speaking, if someone was going to jack off in my house, the shower would be the best place. There's a fucking drain in the room. It's the only room yeah, in my house that's a drain. drain. So things and just, a, and a just, rinse. just make sure you kick them down. <laughs> see where you shoot. Yeah. Kick them down. I don't need any slippery <laughs> sliders in there. You got to. You gotta uh, scoop up the jellyfish and put them in the fucking drain. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can I can safely say I've never masturbated in your shower in your house. Thank you. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> Not shower. Right. I mean, notice, I just, notice that I, I said yeah. shower. I don't know why this guy kind of like jealous. <laughs> like, you're gonna, you, you're fucking my shower, bro. <laughs> That's my fucking shower, dude. That's great. Cool. Well, Is, I mean, we've had these content weekends. I'm there for like three days. What, do you, you want me to leave me to porn do? out? No, no, I mean, that's I uncomfortable. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, what? but but now put but one I mean, of the receivers. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever, have you ever masturbated hold when Matt's been in like a full blown sesh with his wife, where you're just like, <laughs> no. yeah, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use the audio on that. Just like, no, no, no. 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 Okay, no. no. All right. I think he's heard some audio throughout the the times. There's no doubt. I have. You know. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Just two adults fucking. I was I was telling Evan about one the other day. We were talking about your dick. Yeah. Oh. Okay, what that's about? random as fuck. <laughs> yeah, we talked about dicks for twenty minutes at least. I'm glad my my dick made that conversation. Because what? what how did that start anyway? <clears throat> I have no idea how that started. Yeah, why were you guys just alone? Well, Logan, about Logan, like Logan a, just offered it up. He was like, yeah, I, like bet you, "I bet you Matt's got a nice dick." You know, and we're just like, making yeah. dick guesstimates. That's yeah. all it was. Like, I haven't seen anybody's dick here, but like, I I feel like I got a pretty good idea about like you know what you're packing. What? No, what constitutes don't. I don't judging someone's do. dick? Because I think the. Uh, 
you might see a larger individual, but I, sometimes there's like the five five skinny kid, and he's rocking like a fucking honk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I think certain uh, personal attributes, you know, carry over, or or it may. I'm kind of creeped out right now. Jacking like, off in my shower, <laughs> judging me on my dick. There's a lot going on. He though. had a lot of positive things to say about it. Awesome. It was well. It they was both seen my dick, so you know, whatever. Yeah, I, I've seen congratulations. It in stuff. We've already talked about this in the podcast. <laughs> you know, that's I'm all I gotta say. To highlight my my penis <laughs> attributes. <laughs> Jesus, that's pretty. It's 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 solid, Logan. It's really. What if be I? What if I no. had? You know, what I'm gonna do for you, Logan. I'm gonna buy a waterproof case, buy an iPad, and put it in my shower. Just and mount the it. Only app on it is Pornhub. That is a true friend. Does Pornhub have an yeah. app? Duh. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, I actually didn't know fuck. that either. They I mean, I've never used it, to be honest with you. I just go to incognito browser because I feel like why? they could track less guy. What? Why not? I, I don't know why you would hide what you're searching. Mm. I just don't want it on my phone because if I ever Google something in front of like a friend or a business or something and then yeah. like it auto populates when I'm going to YouTube and it goes you porn. It's like yeah. chick gets I mean, 19 gallons of cum on her face. No, like you probably should. Can you imagine if that would have come up on my phone when, I, when we were in our briefing <laughs> like, dude, last week? <laughs> dude, <laughs> frequently I was, visited. You just keep that right there. <laughs> this is a great story and I can't say what meeting or whatever, but Evan and I were in a meeting and the fucking computer cables weren't hooked up to for project the laptop screen onto this briefing that we were doing so they're like oh we have an iphone hookup you can just go through there yeah. and it was like the second it goes i was like oh god i'm so fucking scared <laughs> because you know all the weird shit we text and in the initial thing before he hit airplane mode it was like ding so you can oh, see the text no. coming in. It's like no. from his wife, meh, you know. Meh, but meh, yeah, meh. Like, no, oh. I turn off all my <sighs> all my badge notifications oh, just because I don't like them. Me too. Yeah. The best thing someone can ever do, and it's actually not because my wife has my my passcode if she wants it. But if uh, you turn off all your notifications on text, I, I love it because then you you look when you want to, and then when yeah. you don't, you completely forget about it, which is a nice thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes this sucks because you're always like checking to see if you got text, but there's always there because you guys like I've had my phone much. on silent for five years. Silent. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've never definitely. turned my ringer on. Yeah. Hmm. I know because it comes up as silent every time you text you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like trying to get them, trying to get them Z's, you know? Oh, no, that's that's rich. You know, that's definitely oh, my phone is on silent. And I'm like, you were sleeping at 8 p.m. It's totally it's fine. fine. You Richard. get up early. You get up early. Yeah. You get up early or you get up late and go to bed early. Yeah. You, you know, ain't and got a lie to kick it. Yeah. You know, get up fine. late and go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> I just got I'm that. smoked. I <laughs> it's the opposite. Got like, up late and went to I bed log, early yesterday. <laughs> I logged a 15 hour sleep day. Come again? Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm just dude, really groggy. I slept for 15 hours. Man, it <laughs> fucked up my neck yesterday. I slept for like 15 hours after I ate like three quarts of caviar. It's just like, oh. <laughs> what? You ever sleep so much that you get sleepy because you slept so much? <laughs> dude, I'm feeling these, it, bro. 6 p.m. is whooping my I've ass. I've got all these bed sores, man, because I've just been in my bed. I'm like these are, I, I got to go to the doctor and get some pills, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to Uber Eats everything everything keto, but, you know. <laughs> it's super hard to get the Uber to drop off keto, man. <laughs> We're kidding. We're yeah, just having fun. Super. So you were kidding. Yeah. So I had a uh, the pizza delivery guy yesterday. I ordered pizza for me and my daughters. And uh, my wife actually ordered. And then I came in. We did the handoff. So he gives me two pizzas. And I'm like, okay, yeah. Take them in the house. I'm like, oh, my wife must have messed up the order because there are onions and stuff on the pizza. And my daughter will not eat any of this stuff. So I start ripping this pizza apart, just like ripping it apart. <laughs> and ding dong, the door rings. I can see it's a pizza delivery guy. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's the wrong pizza. Okay. So I just, like, close the box. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking did. You were a problem you solver. Hey, you just hey, lob it all there. That was yeah. www.notmyproblem.com. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. Those weren't your pizzas. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you know, Good I kinda, thing I, I kinda, didn't I kinda, open I kind of took some stuff off that one. You might not, you know, give him the disclaimer. But he comes back with our pizzas, and he's like, Hey, bro, I hooked you up with two, like, two, two quarts of Pepsi. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to give this to my kids. He's like, yeah, yeah I brought, brought you some Pepsi for your kids. Yeah, I was like, we don't do yeah, that around here. we don't here. do that. Uh. We don't do that. But I appreciate it. It was in good faith. It, it was, was really in good nice. faith. Yeah, but 
Here, I've, I've missed your order. Here's some poison for your children. Go ahead and take oh, that. Oh, God, yeah. I Here, that one-year-old would love just, some Pepsi. That's just, ugh. I, Pepsi's disgusting. Were you with me when we had the girl yell at us for the pizzas in the, in the bar next to my house? Yeah, Who's I remember me? that. I remember what you're talking about. It's fucking yeah. so weird, She dude. came in. Like a fucking wrecking ball. This, I guess some dude had ordered pizza and then left because he got pissed the pizza delivery guy took so long. Like, no shit. The nearest town's 20 minutes, dude. And so it shows up. Everybody's freaking out. I'm like, I'll just buy the fucking pizzas off him. So we order the pizzas, whatever. This girl comes in and just starts, like, yelling at us that we're eating her pizza. And I'm like, take the fucking pizza. And she's like, fuck you, you fucking assholes. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, we ate the rest of the pizza. I'm just staring yeah. at her eating it. It's not a good story, but it fuck. started out. I, I mean, I remember when solid. it when it happened. Yeah. It was a very it was a very like all uh, altercating ordeal. Well, she's like, making a whole scene in the bar. I'm like, yeah. take the pizza, bitch. She's like, I don't want the pizza now. I'm yeah. like, well, then you can't bitch if you don't want the fucking pizza. Yeah, I paid take, for it. Just take the pizza. And then and then Logan fucked her in the ass. Did you really, Logan? Yeah. Logan, I don't think I was there. Did I do that? Probably, probably. <laughs> you <laughs> put your penis you in butts more than you don't. Yeah, you do. Maybe. What's up with your dating life? You got anything fun yeah. going on? Like, what's up with Logie? No, not much to be honest with you. I'm kind of just bouncing around here and there, <laughs> just <laughs> bouncing around. <laughs> <laughs> bouncing I don't. I don't. Around. I don't. You know, I don't really see myself settling down. To be honest with you. You but don't? There's no. There's just too much fun. Dude, to be you're had. a peacock, Captain. You gotta fly. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, I'm flying. Yeah. What's your What's your thing right now? You got any like? Are you into fat chicks? Uh, some Mexican girls. It is San Antonio. There's some great looking Mexican girls out here. Uh no, I the I like the fit ladies. The fit like, ladies. I, I like a, a woman who takes care of herself. Like what, what kind of fit? Like hey, I work out four days a week, or like I can front um, squat two twenty five in the no CrossFit no gym. like. Uh, I go to CrossFit, but I don't, I'm not like super into it to the point where like the boobies start going away and stuff like that, you know? Like, I think Jared should date a CrossFitter because she just like yeah. beat his ass and manhandle him. And I think you'd probably like that. What? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you could like have an alpha female in the house. Jared, have you ever asked a woman to hit you Yeah. in bed? Yeah. 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 You've like, asked them like that? A, Oh, no, I didn't ask. I just got hit and then liked it. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> did, did it like, become like a on your booty? No, no, no. Like, like a slap on your booty? Like, like an yeah, open I mean, hand slap? As or she like was fucking punch, me in the like ass with a strap on. She didn't slap me. And <laughs> slap I, me on the butt. I kind of liked it. <laughs> hey, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, how is, what's up with you? You haven't got given us an update. We're great. I'm having a blast. So She's amazing. What's the, what's the key word for her? Koala. Koala. We just say koala. How's koala? Uh, great. Great. I Are mean, you guys been... in love? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Really fun. What's like, the funnest part? I mean, just uh like she she trolls people like like when we're just hanging out like in public and stuff like that. And I fucking laugh my ass off constantly because she's just fucking with waitresses or random people or everything like like I'm pretty sure she might have destroyed a relationship last weekend. Wow. Uh, just cause, uh, we were, we, we were in Austin and we got a boat and we were at this like party cove, they call it in Austin. There's all these college kids, like, like, you know, kind of like crab Island style. Everybody's in the water cause you can touch and everybody's drinking. So we were sitting up and we were watching this, this, this boat of these people that were celebrating a bachelorette bachelor party together. And, uh, we, we had pinned that, that these two pink shorts, pink swimsuit were together but she was hammered and we saw pink shorts go and kiss somebody else while she was like stumbling around. So we're like, Ooh, so we keep watching. Well, then he ends up on this float with this girl in a blue bathing suit and they're just like staring at each other. You can tell the girl in the blue definitely likes him, but is in this circle. So after his girlfriend gets back up to like a little John song and opens a bottle of wine and dumps it all over herself and then falls over. He goes back <laughs> onto the mat with, with blue bathing suit and I was like, go over and tell him to just kiss. And she's like, I'm on my way. So she swims over and she just goes, you guys really need to be together. I can, we could see it in your eyes. And they're like, you see them like, oh, no, like his girlfriend's on the boat. And uh, she's like, no, no, we could tell you both love each other. And then she just like swims away. <laughs> well, then an hour goes by and we're driving past 
their boat again really slow and we see blue bathing suit and pink shorts in the back and his girlfriend passed out and she they're all his friends are there and Corey just yells follow your heart <laughs> you see this girl like fucking shut up <laughs> i think that's called cock blocking that's great what's up man but it's Super like good. it's it's shit well, do that me this. he would do yeah. what you should do is you should have um did you just say her name by the way uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, uh, koala, you should have her walk up to a couple at a nice dinner restaurant somewhere in the Pearl. And just be like, thanks for not calling me back last week, you fucking prick, and then storm yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, my God. See where that takes That'd the night. Great. Oh, my God. I mean, that's a real fucking that is dick strong. move. I had to abort the baby. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the text back. Don't worry. It's gone. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> like, oh, fucking You'll savage, get the dude. bill. <laughs> You'll get the bill. Planned Parenthood, $149. Oh, because they were running a special. That's, yeah, that's that's awful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's how you ruin marriages or oh. right relationships. Yeah. That'd be great. Because there's no way to... You, how, how do you deny that? Like, <laughs> like I mean, I your only defense is... She must have thought I'm someone else. I have Somebody no else. idea yeah, have who no that idea. was. Sure you don't. <laughs> sure you <Brad>. don't. <laughs> well, guess what? I fucked your brother. And you're like, well, that worked oh, out well for me. Oh, shit. I like, just now it's out. like... <laughs> Yeah. Dun, 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 the dun, dude dun. just pulls a concealed carry and offs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, all right. <laughs> she could be doing a service, though. It could be a guy going, damn, I needed that. Yeah. <laughs> needed that. He got me out of that one. Got who, me out of that one. Who was that angel? <laughs> oh, that angel from above. She saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're almost to the Dream Bro of the Week. We are there. Dave, are you pulling us up? All right. Lay, lay it on us, Jared. Uh, who's this from, Dave? Can you just show me who that's from? Doom, doom, doom. Duke, Duke Watson. Watson. I would like to nominate Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Anderson for Drinking Bro of the Week. He was an Army Ranger Black Hawk pilot and one of my mentors and friends. Known fondly at our gym as the captain, he was one of the toughest and coolest guys I've ever known. All about putting in work, taking care of those close to you. Always teaching me and so many others how to be a man and do hard work when you should, but also being the family man who is there for your wife and children. Jeffrey was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer and passed away on August 19th, a mere four short months after his diagnosis. He was able to hold on just long enough and still be tough enough to walk his daughter down the aisle. Jeffrey is survived by his four children and wife of 25 years and the regiment the military and many family and friends are missing a hero today. Cheers to you, Captain. Sorry you had to go, but you're still leading the way. Ooh, oh, cheers. that sucks. Cheers, cheers, cheers him, man. Cheers. Rangers lead the way, brother. Fucking a. Yeah. Ooh, four months though. That that's a that's that's life. That's flash to bang right there. Like, hey, oh, yeah. something's wrong, and then right. it's fucking shitty. Mm. Yeah. Well, at least you got to walk. Be good people. Daughter, no, no, no. <laughs> There's your lesson. Yeah. yeah. Be fucking good. Have fun. Well, that was fun. Speaking of that, that was just that was <laughs> a fun <laughs> time. Fun. We went BC, AC. We yeah. went to the party boat. To the party boat. Um, Pink and now we're, now, we're, now we're going away to go <laughs> do business things. And yeah, stuff going and away. Uh, for Jared Taylor, Evan Haper, Logan Stark, and me, myself, Matt, we will catch you later. Thanks.